Hey everybody, uh, I wanted to make a quick video for newer players who are interested in playing the Lich. In particular, I wanted to go over Death Seal, which I believe is the uh, fundamental skill for all Lich builds. So if you mouse over Death Seal and look over the text, uh, you'll see that it acts as both an offensive and defensive skill. So it'll give you more damage based on the percentage missing health, and it'll, you'll take less damage based on half a percent missing health. Okay, so if you look in the Death Seal skill tree, uh, there's a node called Deadlock. So this particular node is pretty much the most important node in the skill tree. Uh, and every single build of Death, uh, Death Seal is going to have this node. Regardless of how you map out the rest of your tree based on your build preference, Deadlock is going to be there. So what Deadlock does is as long as you're over 33% of your, your health, uh, it'll seal your health at 33%. So it effectively just gives you 66% uh, more damage and 33% uh, less damage taken on uh, activation of Death Seal. So a couple things to note uh, regarding Leech in this game. Um, if you open the game guide and type in Leech, the last paragraph is an important one, where it states that health returned by a health leech is granted evenly over three seconds. So it's a heal over time. And health from each instance of leech is granted independently, meaning they expire at different times. So this is important because death seal by default lasts for five seconds. So if you're doing damage on the first two seconds uh, of death seal activation, and you're doing no damage for the remaining three, well, guess what? You're not going to be getting any of that health back on the damage you did uh, on the first two seconds of the death seal activation. So. You know, in situations where the monolith or the echo, the density is really bad, you don't want to let Destio run its course. You just want to hit that pack of mob, uh, and then deactivate Destio. So you'll get all the health back from the damage you leached. Okay. And uh, finally, I want to go over the couple items I recommend in the build guide and kind of forgot to. Um, two items of being the Maryland's Lost Soul and the Grimoire. Um, Maryland's Lost Soul you can start getting at air level 78, which is the Reign of Dragons timeline in normal models. And you can also start getting it from, uh, not start, but you can also acquire it by using Runes of Ascendance. Um, and from my experience, you can probably get one from like maybe out of eight or nine Runes of Ascendance slams, okay? Uh, why do you want the wand? Okay, well, aside from it giving you flat spell necrotic damage, it gives you spell damage, it gives you cast speed, it gives you necrotic penetration. Well, the line, the second to the last line of text is you are damned when you cast the spell. Now, why do you want to damn yourself? Um, well, in Death Seal, there's a Doom Call node, and for each stack of damned on yourself, you uh, you'll get 10% more damage on your death waves. So if you invest five points into Doom Call, even without the wand, you'll get um, five stacks of damage per second, right? While Death uh, while Death Seal is active, um, therefore boosting your Death Wave damage every second, um, and then you can supplement that by damaging yourself um, just by spamming Rift Blood, for instance, or any any skill that you want to spam, right? Um, and Mariner's Lost Soul. By having Mariner's Lost Soul equipped, you are damning yourself every time you cast a spell. So that's why you kind of want cast speed, and Ripple has a lot of cast speed modifiers. Right? Ripple now also benefits you uh, from the Arcane Absorption, right? the global spell damage on hit. So if you're spamming Ripple, Blood, you're damning yourself, you're getting global flat spell damage. Um, all this is boosting your death wave damage in Death Seal. Okay? As for the Grimoire, I would say it's the best in slot for the Lich. Um, the reason being is that the effects uh, on potion use, you take less damage from void, necrotic, and poison sources up to 40%, um, which synergizes really well with your um, passive trees, looks of death, which you take less damage from physical and necrotic up to 50% uh, with 10 points invested. So um, on top of that, uh, the Grimoire has a implicit of up to 40 health and also has vitality up to 4 which gives you a nice, you know, 80 health flat, right? And um, it can start dropping as early as Act 1 campaign. And the LP, you can probably get like one or two LP 
fairly common if you do get the drop. Uh, 3LP is also not unheard of. Uh, there's actually a few people that actually got 3LP during the uh, Pinnacle race. So um, these are the two uniques I do recommend for the build. Um, the last one, if you do get a 2LP Woven Flesh and you slam it with like a tier 7 health and something, then you might want to consider using that as, uh, as your chest piece. But besides that, I can't really think of anything that's like really good for the for the build so um and that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it um if you have any questions leave a comment below and i'll see you next time ciao